Hey, it's Ron. Ron's wood turning. Welcome back. Thank y'all for subscribing. Uh, I got a piece of that wild uh, cherry again, and as you can see, it's uh, a little rough, and it has holes in it. But it's pretty solid on the inside, so I should be able to make a little bowl. It's only going to be about six and a half by two and a half deep. Not very big, but it's, uh, it's pretty, so let's do it. Well, if you ever wanted to see what makes wormholes in wood, <laughs> here they are. And he's still alive. Oh well, better got him out now than him splattering me. <laughs> so this one might be a challenge. <laughs> one of them R. Humphrey jobs where the fight ain't over till the winner says it is. I don't pull the worm out of it. But when it's going crooked on the bandsaw, so I'm going to cut it with a chainsaw and I'll be back. It's face shield time. Trust me on this. This stuff is like powder. But it's solid, about an inch deep. So, let's beat it up. There's that wormhole <laughs> with the offending worm. It's coming. I got a lot to take off. It's not going to be that big. Let's just keep at it. So this is all still punky. And this needs to come off. This is all punky. This is punky. I'm gonna probably gonna slip out there and just cut this off. Now I'll use my parting tool. That's a wormhole. <laughs> and the way it's cutting with this carbide is just bending it over instead of cutting it. But I can fix it. So, it's getting smaller and smaller. Let's do it. So I got some epoxy opportunity. <laughs> that hole goes way down in there. I'm gonna it's definitely gonna be all the way through. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shove a bunch of sawdust in there and then epoxy over the top of it just to stop it from going all the way into the middle of the wood. And then when I hollow out the inside I should meet up with epoxy. And nothing fancy, I'm just going to dig this soft stuff out 
with my knife and then just mix up some five minute epoxy and a whole bunch of this cherry shavings and just cover it up. So let's do it. Found another hole. And put the whole blade in there. At least this one has a bottom. Yep. Alright. I'll clean them out and then uh, we'll mix up epoxy. Alright, so I'm going to try something. This piece of paper will stay where I put it. And all I want to do is make a dam. Perfect. Now I'll CA glue that because that's going to be probably a half. If I make the walls a half inch, I'll see paper. But if I make them a little less than half inch, all that paper is going to get eat away by the by the uh, bowl gouge. Perfect. Let me soak that down. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just make a paste. Got some of this five minute epoxy. I'll put some in there. I'm going to need quite a bit it looks like. And then wipe that off. Put the cap back on. I know y'all know that. Alright. And then I got this out of my bandsaw. This is that cherry dust. Sawdust. I'll put some in there and then I'm just going to mix it all up. And it's making a paste. So let me get that mixed up and I'll squish it down in them holes and I'll be back. Alright, I let it dry overnight and I'm just knocking these peaks off. So it'll be less likely to hang up and chip out a whole big section of it. Now I'll just turn it. Shine juice at 300. There's a lot of shine juice. That's where I get all them straight lines up and down the wall and my turning vest. Pump it up. Nice. Slip back down. Give a little more. Oh, this cherry's pretty. Alright, see what it looks like. Sweet. We got some chatoyance in it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 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 Whatever. That's gonna look alright. Let me flip it around and we'll.
other side of the epoxy. So all I got to do is sand it and finish it up, cut the bottom off. I'll be back. Sweet. Okay, I finished it. And uh, here it is. It's small, but it's uh, shiny. And uh, thank you all for sticking with me. It's a fun little project, especially finding that worm. That was cool. So uh, thank you all very much for subscribing, and you all have a great day.